In the first six hours of his birth, he had massive strokes. We don't know if it was one or four. He's got extensive brain damage to the left side of his brain and parts on the top and then on the right. So he's had EEGs, he's had everything. He didn't start walking until he was like 18 months old. And then when he was walking, he was having issues. He has CP, hemiplegic CP. So he has swing phase inconsistency. He has problems clearing his toe. Uh, a real toe walker also during stance phase and he's alternated between a three and a half which was his very first brace that he got from a physical therapy uh, clinic down south and they came up to see us and we transferred him to a TME2 at that time because he was overpowering his plantar flexion tone was so strong he was overpowering the three and a half. So he had Botox this uh, September 27th and um, apparently most people don't uh, see results until two weeks. We saw results within a half an hour. He ended up getting his brace I think it was a day after Botox. So I, when I casted him, he hadn't had it yet. So I didn't know what the functional change was going to be, but I was thinking that if his tone is minimized, maybe we could give him a little bit more plantar flexion flexibility with a three and a half going back to that design. And it's a little less bulky in the shoe. So he came in that day and mom was like, oh, I don't know. She really wanted to go back to the Tammy too. It wasn't providing the same level of control, even with the Botox. So we had the Tammy two remade. It fit really well. It was great. And then we wanted to do a case study to see a comparison, to see really if the three and a half is fitting well, like the Tammy two does, what's going to be the functional difference? It's pretty minor differences. And it may be that he's just used to the Tammy two, that that's why he's walking so much better. Um, and it, he just appears more fluid as he's walking with not as good of toe clearance with the three and a half compared to the Tammy two. He's also, as he's climbing the stairs, he's a lot more confident and he's faster climbing up and down the stairs with the Tammy two on compared to the three and a half. So I think for Mason, it's still a good call to stick with the Tammy two for right now. I'm thankful that he's been able to have these boots and, you know, walk, because we didn't think he was gonna even be able to walk at one point. And so it's just been a very positive, you know, very positive thing.